Okay, I'm gonna show you how I make these little street red lights. Now I already have some cut up, so I'm gonna make a measurement. I'll show you what I. They don't have to be. They're pretty exact, so I'll show you what how I cut those. And the piece I'm using is. Let's get the tape measure out this way. There we go. Let's go. Oh, oops. Looks like one eighth. Oh, there we go. It's one eighth. I um, bought it from Hobby League and buy it at Hobby Lobby. It's just balsa wood. That's what these are made out of. And, the, and these other ones are from a uh, dowel rod. So I'm going to show you how I make mine. Basically, I have one of these, a uh, you know, saw box. So, and the dimensions. They don't have to be that stuck to my finger. Looks like one eighth again. So that's how I did it. So yeah, pretty dang close. It's about one eighth. So now what I did, um, it's pretty simple. Uh, let's let's get the glue out and I'll show you real quickly. Okay, I'm just going to use some wood glue. Wow. <laughs> Let me get some pliers. Wow, that was it. Okay. That's what I like to do. And then I just don't have to be exactly what they should be. It just kind of just it's just a guessing game to me, but just like that. Oops. Now see I got that one too far up. There we go. And I can give you the measurement on that. I think it's like an inch. And half inch long. You guys can see it okay, right? Yeah, a half inch long. There, it's just one eighth by one eighth. So that gives you, uh, it's pretty simple. And then what I do, I'll leave it set for like an hour and I come back. I'll do the other side and leave it set for an hour. And same thing on both sides. Again, another hour. And then when you're done, you end up like one of these. And it's pretty easy. And what I did, I took a nail. Oh, I don't think I got any extra. Oh, right here. Ah, it's like a track nail, basically. And I just stuck it in there. And then after that, I just uh, took a pair of pliers. Or you know, nose, whatever you want to call them. And I took the head of the the nail and I don't have that I don't have that or then you just let it something like that. Just like that. Pretty cool, huh? It's just a regular nail and then after that you get your hole drilled. And put it all the way in there. I use wood glue for, and put it in there too. And then once she sets up, you just take the drilling tool and just cut it. Or you, unless you think you're, you can also do this too. You can do something like that. Something like that. And you're, and you're, you're golden. So that's how you make the uh, street lights and stuff. It's pretty simple. And then uh, if you don't like how they are not shaped straight, just take it on a fire or a uh, sander. And, or a sander or uh, some sanding paper and a flat box. Just ch -ch -ch, like something like this or something. Just sand it down, you know. But yeah. Looks pretty good to me. So hopefully this video helps you out. If you got any more questions or anything, I'll be glad to help you out. 
Um, what I did, I'll show you what I did at one time. Now, what I did a long time ago, I already, okay, they, that piece there is for the little tiny round pieces. That's for that piece right there. And then the longer piece is right there. Oops. So what I did, use this, I put like something like that there. And then I use a, ah, something like that. Just clamp it. Then you get ready and put it in there and just, you know. And then when you're ready to cut the smaller pieces, same thing, you're ready to go. Start, you know, pretty simple. So, yeah, I bought this at Hobby Lobby the cut the miter box and the knife. Ball out from Hobby Lobby. So yeah, um, so that's pretty set up. Maybe you don't have to do it about an hour. The wood glue is pretty old, so it's setting up pretty quick. So I'm gonna go ahead. Come on. Oops, that's too much. That's fine. Sometimes they're a little tricky. And you can see how one's smaller than the other. That's why you need a... Oh, oh crap. If... A file. Or a sanding block. One of the two. Let's get this down a little bit yeah. yeah you gotta keep messing with that a little bit but that's that's all you gotta do but yeah once in a while you have something like that and you just get a sanding block and just sand it down sometimes these will pop off because there's not enough glue on there no big deal just re-glue it and Walk away and do something else for a while. So that's how you can make your own red lights. And if you need to make one real thin, um, you just you can cut this right in half. And that's what I did. And then you end up with just the front. You don't need the sides, just the front. I'll show you what I'm talking about. That's what I was talking about. And I use super glue. I use some sewing string string and you see they're they're painted black so it matches and i did a bunch of them did these ones here and the ones over there so all you do is cut it in half and you're good to go i ah, see my niece has been up here playing with my stuff <laughs> so yeah hope i helps you out quite a bit with the uh street lights or red lights all right, I'll see you guys later.